there is so much amazing content coming out now from the left. It's really hard to know where to start. I'm going to try to get to all of it. I don't think I'm going to be able to in today's video. But I chose this image because I thought it was very appropriate for what we're going to be talking about. Things are not always as they seem. You look at something, and on first blush, you think it's one thing. But then when you look closer, you see something entirely different. See, on one hand, I have the image that says, everything happens for a reason. Sometimes the reason is you're stupid and make bad decisions. We've all done stupid things. We've all made bad decisions. But when you look back and you don't have the ability to realize that and fix it going forward, then it becomes the thing on the right. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. See, that's an entirely different thing. That shows intent. Now, what am I talking about? This is CNN. This is one of their anchorettes, Kate Boldwan. I hope I said that name right. She's wearing a very innocuous looking sweater that says facts first on it. Now, of course, we know what that means. We don't have to talk about it. But when you look closer, and some people did, you see a $400 cashmere sweater, custom made, being worn by a limousine liberal during a time when their website, one second, I guess it's refreshing here, talks about people getting evicted, people losing their homes. It's all over their websites, talking about how COVID, she lost her job months after being deemed an essential worker. And Americans' hopes for Biden outweigh pandemic worries. And all this kind of stuff. Woman doesn't know her grandson died during the pandemic and another guy being evicted. So as you can see, it doesn't really apply to them, does it? See, instead of taking that $400 and giving it to a good cause, she decided it was more important to get a custom-made cashmere sweater that said facts first, not thinking anybody would know. Joe Biden is going to be president. Now, at first blush, people look at that and go, Oh no! Oh no! It's the end of the world! I'm thinking about doing a video where all of the predictions for Barack Obama, 2008, 2016, there must be a dozen at least, that completely didn't come true from the right, the alt-right, who said, the Antichrist this, and uh, Walmart FEMA camp that, and uh, 2012 apocalypse. I mean, it's just, it was never ending for eight years, and none of it came true. But this did come true. Joe Biden has already sat down with, asterisk, giant air quotes, civil rights leaders, and read them the Riot Act basically saying all the things you want me to do by executive order are beyond my presidential authority. Fact. Biden told civil rights leaders in private meeting that progressives' hopes for executive actions are way beyond the bounds, quote, of his presidential authority. Sit down and shut up. Confirmed already not even been inaugurated yet and he's already told him can't do it sorry i'm not going to govern that way i'm going to govern constitutionally and this is from fox biden in leaked audio suggests gop quote beat the living you know what out of us over to fund the police confirming that he would have said this the two thoughts go together you see I've said it before and I'll say it again. Biden was a concession that Obama didn't want. But he accepted it. He accepted it. And Biden stayed quiet. And the reason he supported Biden was because he wanted Biden to lose. And then he could stand up 
waggle his finger and say, see, see, America is not really conservative. And this conservative guy from the Democrat Party, he wasn't the answer. We need to go way far to the left. Well, guess what? That didn't work. That's why the first words out of his mouth were, 74 million people voted for Donald Trump. What does this say to me? Because he realized he was wrong. He realized he was fundamentally wrong, and now he's adapting. Now he's adapting. Now, as far as the progressives are concerned, this, for all their talk of diversity, is what really bothers them the most about America. And ironically, most recently, it's what bothers people in Trump's camp. What am I talking about? Legal votes. What is and what is not a legal vote is determined individually by each state. Florida, Texas, North Carolina, Ohio. We have really high standards for what a legal vote is. Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, Michigan, Arizona. They do not have really high standards for what a legal vote is. So they can count anything they want. They can count anything they want. Because of how the Constitution reads. Now, you would think, so we should just let them cheat? Oh, no. No, no, no. I mean, they're going to get away with it. Don't get me wrong. They're going to inaugurate Joe Biden is going to be president. Joe Biden is going to be president. That's just fact. Now, what can be done? Well, real simple. See, when you make enemies of two of the three biggest states in the Union, like Florida and Texas, we can bring the pain to Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, and Michigan, for sure. That means any truck plated in Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, or Michigan is going to get some extra attention if it decides to cross the border into the state of Florida. Why? Because, you know, we don't trust their standards up there. Now, we're not debating. We're not debating that Pennsylvania has the right to determine for itself what its standards are, whether it be voting standards, whether it be standards to plate a vehicle, standards for a driver's license. But we don't have to accept that in our state. So, real simple. If you're driving a car that's plated or you have a license from Pennsylvania, Michigan, Arizona, or Wisconsin, you're going to get extra attention if you decide to venture into Florida. Still want to play stupid games? Still don't think we can bring some business pain? What do you think is going to happen with the big trucking companies? You see, right up here, right up here in this upper right-hand corner, there is a huge port. And every single trucking company in the country has some type of a hub right up here in Jacksonville. Anything destined for Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, or Michigan? That could be delayed. Maybe we need to start adding some fees. Because we just don't trust those trucks. We don't trust the standards applied in Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, and Michigan. And that is our right to do. Now, that's just what we can do. We bring the pain. Texas brings the pain. Tennessee brings the pain. You watch how fast things change up there. You watch how fast. And as far as elections go, this is the solution next time. You see, over on the left, they have a whole bunch of different people that all want their slice of the pie. You have the Bernie Sanders crowd. You have the Tulsi Gabbard crowd. You had the Yang crowd. You had all these different crowds. You had the Pete Buttigieg crowd. Well, all we have to do on the right is find one of them and dump a bunch of money. Convince them to run. And have them split the vote, just like Perot did with Bush putting Bill Clinton in office. 
All that needed to happen this time is we needed to split the Democrat Party. And there were a hundred opportunities to do it. Nobody took advantage of it from the right. And lest we forget who did it to himself, by the way, if you really want to see the image for what it really is, there's one guy who, when asked, recommended buying a shotgun and firing it, loading a ballistic weapon and firing it in self-defense. The other guy, for all of his talk of protecting the Second Amendment, when cornered, when put in a box, and had a chance to stand on principle, decided to say, you know what, I'm a big fan of taking the guns away early. Take the guns first, go through due process second. Now, if I put giant redaction blocks over all of the faces here, which one do you think would be the conservative, and which one do you think would be the liberal? If I didn't show you the faces, and I just gave you the quotes, which one do you think would be the conservative, and which one do you think would be the liberal? You see, that's why I started with this picture. You look and you have to do a double take, don't you? You look and you're like, wait, what, 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 hold on, what's that? Wait, oh wait, that's not what I thought it was. That's not what I thought it was. And that's really been the theme here for the last few months. The guy who is set to be president of the United States, President Joe Biden, is going to govern more conservatively than Donald Trump ever did. Far more. See, I'm a big believer in seeing what people do when they're under pressure, not what they do at some kind of a rally. Not when they're trying to give you a speech to get you to vote for them. What do they do behind the scenes? How do they behave behind the scenes? What is their history? Who were they when you weren't looking? And when you look back at these last four years and at the actions of former President Trump, I think you're going to probably have one of those moments where you ask yourself, gosh, was he playing a stupid game and did he win a stupid prize? And that is the reason that this happened? Because for a moment, I also was stupid and I made a bad decision four years ago? Could this possibly be the case? This is a question that a lot of conservatives don't like to, I shouldn't say a lot of conservatives, no human being likes to ask that question of themselves. I don't. I've made mistakes. I've made errors. I had to look back and go, wow, I was really screwed up. I've got to kind of change the way I'm thinking right now. Comes with time, comes with age. Being able to change directions when you realize you've been misled, you've been manipulated. And that's what's happened. That's truly what has happened. Trust me when I tell you, things are not what you think they are. They are virtually the opposite. Like, share, subscribe.